Hey, this is Homa from Homa Studio, and welcome back to our Python Anywhere series. And we were working with databases in Python Anywhere and working with a MySQL database, and we're going to do some SQL queries. And we're going to use the database that we created, which was states. It's not very big, but it'll give us a chance to work with SQL a little bit. I also have my W3Schools SQL tutorial open, so if I need some reference of how to write some SQL queries, I can do that. And I'll go back to here. Now, I don't have any consoles open, so I just want to make sure I don't have any open. Remember, in Python Anywhere, you can only have two open at one time. And I'm going to go to Database and I'm going to open this up. Now before I do that I'm going to right click so that I open it up in a new tab so I can keep one tab for files and then one tab for my console. So I'm going to right click on this and say open a new tab and there's my console opening up and one thing I'm going to do while that's opening up I'm going to go here and I'm going to go back to files and I'm going to go into my databases folder. I created a directory called databases. So I'll go inside there and I'll just make one called queries. This will just be general queries for now. And I'll make sure it's SQL so it registers as SQL. That way I can write queries in here and have them color coded. And it's a little easier to edit them and correct them than trying to do that all in the console. So I'm going to create a new file here. That way I could write some of my queries here. Real simple ones I could do in the console, but anything longer I could go here and try them out. So I'll keep this open as well. So my my SQL console is open and it's for that specific database. So I'm just going to do a select all, which is select using the wild card, the asterisk as you're used to seeing, and that means all columns. So it means select all columns and I'm going to say from states. Now I want to make sure that my table is named that and I'm pretty sure I named my table like that. So I'll just try it out from now and just do that. And that's that works. So my table name is states, but if you're ever not sure, just go back and check it or say show tables. If you ever weren't sure, you could always just say show tables because that is the database selected, so you don't have to select the database, but you could always do show tables and it'll say states, and then you know if it has a capital S or a small s or anything like that. So I should have run that first, but I was pretty sure it was called that. So this is our full table, and these are our columns. Order ID, that's the order they came into the union, state, abbreviation, your established size, and pop. Now to do something a, a little more relevant here, let's say we're gonna display the top populated states. We'll use one of the columns I have here, population. We'll see what are the most populated states. So I'm going to go down here and again if you want to do a control L and you can see that kind of wipes everything out ahead of it but as long as I could see this stuff just if I need any reference for that. Now one thing you can do is you could go here and write the stuff here and say okay select all and then it'll color code it. And maybe you don't want your established or anything like that, or the size. You just want the population abbreviation and the state. Maybe you don't even need the order ID. So we'll go with state, abbreviation, population. So three things. So what you could do is just pick those and whatever one you want to do first. And you could say abbreviation. And I'm going to do something called an alias. I'm going to say as. If you don't want it just to say abbreviation, you could say as, and I'm going to put it in quotes, even though you don't have to put it in quotes. It's only in quotes if there's like more than one word, but I'm going to put it in quotes anyway, and just put like ST and put it in quotes. And then I'm going to put a comma, and then I'm going to put another column. So we're going to have abbreviation, and then the state, and I'm going to say state, because that's the column I'm choosing. And I'll say as, and just to be consistent, I'll put it in all caps like that. So this is an alias. That means it's going to display as that. We're using that column but it's going to display like that. So ABR might not look too good, but state looks a little better and it'll just say state and you could put like state name or something. This way you definitely have to have quotes because there's two words here. And then I'll put pop because that's the column name and I'll put as and I'll just put in quotes POP and I'll put a period just to know that it's abbreviated. Now, if I only want to do so many of them, I could limit them. So I could say limit 10. Let's just do the top 10. And I'll do that and let's just see what happens. I, I know there's other stuff we're going to do here. But I'll copy that. That way I don't have to do it all in here. So I'll, I'll go down here and I'll paste it and it says select all so everything looks okay and I'm going to hit enter to run the query and I have I have an error and that's okay because errors will happen. So let's see what I did wrong. And if I go through this, select, I'm picking the columns. There's a column, there's a column, there's a column. And one thing I didn't say is from 
states. So I have to put the from in there. So I missed that. So let me put that in there from states. So I have to put the table and I don't have to put a comma here, although you can break the line. So you could hit, you could do that if you want it to look a little better. You could do that from states and I'm just putting limit 10. So let's try that. And again, we're not going to break anything here, so it's all right. So we'll just go here and try it again. And there it is. Now, these aren't the top 10. These are just a bunch here. So they're just going in order of the ID. So let's change the order and make it in order of population. We could do that too. So we'll go back here. And that's why it's easy to just kind of edit this. Everything else is OK. And we're still going to limit 10. But we'll do order by. And we sh should actually do order by before the limit. So we'll do order by first, order by, and we'll say order by pop. And you want to use the actual column name, not the alias name. So we'll do pop, and you don't have to put a comma in between there. So order by pop, and we'll do that. And I'll just copy it and paste it again from here. And I'll run the query this way. And there it is. Now, this is kind of in reverse order, because it's using the least populated going up to New Hampshire, these are the least populated. And there's a way to do that. And, and let me just point out here, if you go to SQL tutorial, you'll see things like order by and select and all that kind of stuff. All that kind of stuff will be up here. You'll see select, you'll see order by, you'll see limit, you'll see like, all these kind of things here. So you could check all this out. To go the other way, we can say order by pop and we could just make it descending. So that means it's going from the highest to the lowest because by default, it it ascends, it goes from the smallest to the, it goes from the smallest number to the biggest number. So we'll do it opposite. We'll say descend and we have to do D E S C. If you're going to do ascend, it would be like that. You would do it like that, but we're going to do it like that for descending and you don't need a comma. So let's try this out and see what it looks like. And I'll hit enter and there it is. So now we have our population. These are the 10 most populated states. And it makes sense if you look at them there. They're pretty big states with a lot of big cities. You would think even, you know, New Jersey might be up there somewhere. But if you, if you tried like 15, if you went here. Now, I already did this. Now, I don't always have to copy and paste. If I hit my up arrow, it brings up the same one. And then I could kind of backspace here. And if I, let's say I wanted to do 15, I could do it that way too. And I'll hit enter. And that brings New Jersey in there. And New Jersey's, I forget which number it is. But it was, looks like. 10 or 11 or 11 or 12 or something like that. New Jersey's down there. And that brings up something interesting here uh, as far as doing that. Like w when I did this, I thought, boy, it'd be nice to have an order. I wonder if you could make a column and put in order. Now we already have order ID that puts them in order that they came into the union, but so we can't use that. But one thing I looked up and it was actually called MySQL Tutorial, which is a very good site as well. If you're gonna check out, if you're gonna have other resources for MySQL, my SQL tutorial is a really good site and I just searched for this because there was a row number function but it didn't work when I tried it because it works with SQL server and it works with new versions of my SQL but they have an emulation here and actually this is easier you just have to put a set here and I'll just copy it right out of here you almost make it like a variable that's almost like a counter in Python that just starts at zero so I'm gonna copy that and that's what's nice about going into this file that you could just do that. I'll put it as a line ahead of it and you could call it anything you want. You could just call it row num if you want and start it at zero. And then all they have inside the select statement, they just have this little, this little thing in parentheses. And notice they're also using a alias. They're calling it num. You could call it anything you want. You could call it rank or something like that. So I'll copy that and I'll put it inside the select statement. So I'll go back here and I'll put it here and I'll even make a return and then I'll just put it here so I could see it separately. Now I will want this comma before it moves on to the other stuff. So what it's doing, it's making a new column called num. Now if you don't want it called num, you could call it rank if you want. I'll just call it rank. Now it's not going to use the quotes, but I put the quotes in just to remind me that I'm using an alias. It just works out better that way. Matter of fact, you don't even need the as. But again, as far as visuals, it works a little bit better this way. So we're going to have one called rank. Now, because I changed that to row num, all these things should change to row num. And you can see what they're doing. They're just kind of incrementing here. So it's just using this. And let's try this out. What it should do, it should create a new column that starts with one and continues down. We're already ordering it by, 
population, so we shouldn't have to do anything else. So let's try it out and see how it works. Just going to copy it, go back to my console, and maybe I'll do a control L so it's at the top. I'll paste it. And you can see it ran that query first because it has semicolon, but then it didn't run this one yet. So now I'm going to run this one. And there it is. It created this new column called rank with a number over here. And it made it 1 through 10. So now I saw the top 10. Now if I wanted to do it differently, I could do 15. So if I went back here and I was like, oh, I want it, you know, 15 because I wanted to see New Jersey or something in there, I could just do that and copy that again and paste it. And now we have the top 15. We have the rank over there. We have the states. We have the state names that are here. And we have population in descending order. So that's one thing we could do. A couple other things I'll just mention real quick before we get out of here. Just want to show a couple things. Um, instead of worrying about the population or things like that, what if you just wanted to find states that begin with a certain letter? So I'll do, I'll do a control L down here. And I'll do select. And I'll go back here and I'll do it here might be easier and I'll just do select and I'll do all this time and I'm going to select all from states I forgot that the first time I'll select all from states we're going to put where which specifies the column and then we're going to put like is basically the value so instead of saying equals something we're going to use like that's going to be kind of our limiter there select all from states and we're going to say where and what do we want to know well we want to know the we have to go up to this original one, the state, because we're, we're talking about the name. So this is the column we're talking about. We're talking about the state name. So it's state. That's the column. So that's what we want to use. We're going to say select all from states where state. And instead of saying where state equals something, we want to say starts with. Now, they don't have a starts with. They just say like. And then you just use like this uh, wildcard kind of thing. You can put in quotes. And let's say you want to find all the states that start with M. You'd put an M and then you put a percent, almost the way you'd use an asterisk. But we're going to use M percent, and I'll put a semicolon, and I'll copy and paste it. And I'll go back down here. I'll paste that. Select all from states where state like M. So this should give me a list, and it should show me all my columns because I have the asterisk here. And there it is. Those are all the states. Now, there's also functions where you could count, so you could say how many states are there. You know, you can see here there's eight states that begin with the letter M. So there are functions where you could count this kind of stuff and get other data, but just real basic stuff right now. You could say display all the ones that begin with that. You could even say, oh, I want to see all the ones that begin with M and N. So you could use, you know, operators too, because you, if you look up operators here, you'll see logical operators that you'll be able to use. So now when you go in here, you have to be careful. You can't just say, uh, let's say, or or n and I'll just try it because we're not gonna break it here you might just say oh well that seems like that would work all the states were like M or n and let's try that out so it should give me the M's and the N's so I'll go back down here and I'll paste it and it's only giving me the M's it's not giving me any N's and I know there's states that begin with N there's Nebraska so it's not giving me any of those even though I'm not getting an error but what you need to do is make sure you say or just repeat this part state like you know you can even just highlight this whole part and copy it or state like n and change that to n or something or let's put p or something we'll put p in there all the ones with m and p so we're just repeating that sometimes you have to do that with javascript as well so we're going to select everything from the states where their name which is state that's the column is like it begins like that so let's try that out and we'll copy it and we'll paste it and we'll run it by hitting enter and there they are now it's starting with p and then it's going m so there's only one that begins with p pennsylvania and if you wanted to put them in order remember we already know how to do that so we could just take this and say at the very end we can say order by and We'll say order by state, which will put all the M's first and then the P. Because right now it's ordering by whatever the default was, which was the order ID. So we're not using that. So if we say order by state, it should put all the M's first in alphabetical order and then the P. So let's highlight that and go back and try it out. I'll do a control L. Paste it. And there they are starting with Maine and then ending with Pennsylvania. And if you wanted to throw in some S's, 
you could just throw in another or here, copy this, put in another or, and if you wanted to move it to a different line so it looks nicer, you could do that, or state like S, and we could do that. So it should put the S's last, and now we'll do the ones M, P, and S. And I'll just highlight it, copy it, and then I'll paste it, and then I'll run it. And there they are. So now we have the M's, P, and then there's two from South Carolina. And like I said, there's count functions. There's all kinds of things we could do, but I just wanted to get started here with just a little bit of SQL, just to use some things like order by, limit. We're using wildcards here to say like, so we could find what things start with. And putting in aliases, so we could put in our own custom columns here. If you don't just want to use the regular column names, you could do that. And then also what we did here is we specified only the columns we want. And you just have to list them instead of doing the asterisk. So that's just some basic stuff that we're doing. Just some basic SQL queries. W3Schools is a great resource. And if you get limited there, this one has a little bit more my SQL tutorial. It's a good place to search and find things. So if there's something you can't find in W3 Schools, my SQL tutorial is pretty good too. And there's some other ones, but that's a good place to start. So I'm gonna go back and I can save this if I want. I could just keep adding and just keep writing queries here as much as I want. And if I wanna go back to files, I could just go back to either my main directory or to the databases. I could go back here, that's kind of to my dashboard. I could go back to my dashboard here. I could see there my console is open. What I'll typically do is go down here and get out of my MySQL console and just say quit and hit enter. And I'll say console close. And then if you close it, when you go back here, it should be closed. If you refresh, it'll probably go away completely. There, now it says no recent consoles because I refreshed it. It doesn't update all the time from that list if the tab is open. So that's all I'm doing there. I could log out, but that's SQL queries. Some very basic ones with the States database with Python Anywhere. So we'll see you next time at Home Studio.